buy a car and they say we're gonna give you half Hello. off. Hello. Half off? So that means the car forty thousand, you can get it for twenty. Yeah. You like no, no, no. I'm yeah, paying the whole forty because see, I, I want to pay the whole forty because I can, I can, I can do, I, I can, I can pay, I can do bad by myself. They want to let their nuts hang. That's what it is. That is weird to me. Exactly. Think about that. I'm thinking. I'll never do fifty fifty. Damn. It's one hundred. You don't want half off? Nope. Nah, cause. But you paying a hundred percent now. Right, so they rather they rather pay the hundred percent to be able to call you a whole ass nigga, right? Opposed to because fifty fifty, that takes away the power of you a whole ass nigga. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. So to keep that, nuts so to keep that luxury, I'd rather go in debt but to still be able to flex on your ass. That is right, and that mentality is silly women laden with sin, led astray. <laughs> Matter of fact, I get that, bro. But how it's pull that? That's that's nasty work right yep. there, bro. If y'all just miss what the elder said, in a nutshell, women would rather struggle and go 100% on our bills to be able to lean on the nigga and tell him his shoes is rough, get your ass up the block, opposed to saving half of your money and he help you with your bills. The, so basically, it goes to uh, what makes sense is not attractive to the nigga woman. It's what don't make sense what makes sense to them. Right. And that's why this 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 is this could be talking about the television set. God. Uh, check this out. It's talking about more it's talking about any 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 means of media. Um even verbal communication. Um Second Timothy chapter three verse six. For of this of uh, this sort are they which creep into houses mm. And lead captive silly women laden with sin, led away with diverse lusts. Right, this TV, it creep into these women house. Yeah. And by looking at this daggone idiot box, they get they get creeped away and then with diverse lusts. Yeah. Cause they silly. Yeah, yeah, they silly. Sodish. It goes back to sodish. Yep. This is they don't they don't care about this. They don't care nothing about this. Come. Psalm chapter 37 verse 16 A little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of many wicked. See that? Now they'll look at you. They'll, they'll, they'll definitely throw tomatoes at you. With that oh one. man, they'll have tomatoes chunking them all inside your damn head. Get your broke ass out of here. He'd be like, but well, look, I can morally teach you how to no, save. No, 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 no. I want a Christmas Wait, tree cost eight G's. The girl we went to school with. Um, she said out her mouth straight up. She was, I don't give a fuck about that. If my nigga gonna have, he gotta have some money. I don't give a fuck if he a criminal. I was okay. I'm fucking man. Dead criminals dead. Off ass nigga. criminals dead. negatively dead. impact the community that you gotta live in, and it make it dangerous for you and your offspring, and your siblings, and your parents. You have, why? Why can't they see that a criminal? Messes up the community. Well, you just you hear you what your dad just said. Why can't they see? That's them diverse lusts. And see, that's what the problem is. They in the dark. They that can't that see. bag is a diverse lust. Them red bottom shoes. That's a diverse lust. The way that I see women worship, like purses and shoes. That's they thing. Like, like they really really like that shit. That's they got. Right, right. And it's okay to have it. The problem is, you can't sell your, you're not supposed to sell your soul for that shit. That's why you think you said their daughters are Zion, though. Yep. They prostitute themselves. Yep. I mean. Sexy Red, Sukiana, fucking Meg the Stallion. Like. Right. What, I get it. You feel powerful. I don't, I, I you use sexual Sexual, what's the word I'm looking for? You know I'm dumb and ain't go to school. You use sexual provocation. That ain't even, that's a word, but that ain't the word I'm looking for. I'm trying to sound intelligent, but really I'm just a high school dropout. No, he you, didn't graduate from high school, y'all. But he's very brilliant. You use sexual seduction. Yep, that's Whether what, you're yep. going to 
give him sex or not, you use this sex, sexy. Se so, so, okay, when you go out, this is what this is what we used to think. Try to segue. Remember when this was cold? You go out. It's a woman. She's beautiful. She got on a little short dress, some high heels, and she's strutting. When you're in the world, oh man, I'm like wow, I would love to be seen with a woman like that. Man, now that you in your right state of mind, you like what the fuck? Wah. Man, I wouldn't be caught dead with that demon. Yeah, yeah. But you now. You have to also play both sides of the fence. Does she look attractive? You can't lie and say no. Crazy. But we're not looking at her that way. No. Nope. We're looking at her spiritually. This that's that's a, that is the worst look possible for a spiritual man. Yeah, I'm gonna have it's get something on that too. So remember how uh uh P. Diddy show the way Jay-Z show up with Beyonce looking, that ain't cold to a nigga in the truth. Mm -hmm. The way that Puffy showed up with J-Lo. That ain't cold to a nigga in the truth. Can he say, oh, she an attractive woman? Yeah, but that ain't that ain't it. God, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, she's throwing meat all over everything. You know? Mm -hmm. That ain't that ain't it. But yes. when you in the but when you in the so world, that's the look you want. 21. You want to go to the mall with her looking just like that. Come on. And you walk through the mall, she got this little bitty dress on, these high heels, you think you winning. When really, you like a man who ain't got your woman under control. Verse 25, verse 21. Can you imagine walking past some Arabs like that? Woman's beauty, right? Yeah. Yeah. What you know? They looking at you like, you see who wear the pants in this relationship. Yeah. Hit them with that, is your dad already spoke on it? No, uh, Sirach chapter 25, verse 21. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. This is where Jake is gone. Right. Say that one more time, Ish, the first part of that. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman. Stop right there. Uh, did you hear what it just said? I think the Coke brothers. Stumble. Yeah. Not. Yeah, never trust a big butt and a smile. I think the Coke brothers, along with Lior Cohen, along with Jimmy Iovine, Along with Clive Davis, saw that scripture was like, got, we got yeah. them, yeah, because this is exactly what we finna do to them. We finna take these women and use sexuality to have these niggas out they goddamn rabbit. Yeah, yeah. Only the black man, Mexican too, but I never see white boys do this. Nice looking girl come in, nice looking woman. You in the stove, he in the stove, a whole bunch of niggas in the stove. You look at the white boy. He saw her. He was like, damn, did he see her? He was like, why he ain't reacting? Then me and you make eye contact and then get a what? Damn, fam. Damn. Huh? Now we talking to each other. Damn, fam. We staring at each other now. Damn, fam. Damn. Damn. This this over sexualized, just retarded monkey in the zoo uh, 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 hump mentality. Mm -hmm. Hunch. Hunching. You're hunching. That's all Jake knows is hunching. Okay. You know, he 50 or he's 17. If a beautiful woman come around, get what Jake finna start doing. Damn, fam. I'm just saying, fam. Hey, it's the be chumming it up, bro. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he tried to, they, you know how many times that's gonna happen, niggas try to pull me in it? Man, brother, today a good day, ain't it? Because of that, she's dressed like a whore, bro. Nah, can you give them the hook to Poison by Belle de Devote, the hook? That girl is poison, never trust a big button to smile. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it is, isn't that? In the hook, if you take the, if you listen to that hook, you know right away, like, poison. Oh, Everyone that look enticing to you, you're supposed to run, run. as fast as you can the other way. Well, you run the other way. Run the other but way. But what Jay going to do? Uh, going to run right over to there. it. He going straight. You got all these young ladies go out to these nightclubs. They have on all. This is why I used to notice when we was going out back in the day. You underneath the club light. You in there. You looking. You like, man, she nice. But then... <laughs> The light will hit her dress or something, it'll be like some food stain on it. Come on. 
this is happening to y'all. Please tell me y'all. Oh, okay. it's worse now. Yeah, you, you, you they hella sloppy you, 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 now. Like, bro. like you, you in the club? It's jumping, latrillions. It's jumping. You, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they in here, boy. They in here. They all looking good too. They all looking good. But then when that light hit them, uh -oh. you be like, "Oh shit! It's a macaroni and cheese." Oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? On that, yeah. Or a hot sauce stain. This happened to you last time. Yeah. The hot sauce stain. Yeah, the hot sauce stain. You be like, "Damn." Okay. Him. I ain't tripping, but it's the Funkadelic got the jumping out that motherfucker. You like that? Okay. <laughs> I ain't tripping about that, right but it is coming. Or she have her hand on the bar and you'll look at her fingernails and them motherfuckers be dirty in a motherfucker. Like she been like, working on the car. Right, you like, you like, oh, oh yeah. Man. But under that club, like, nigga, you be like, ooh. Yeah, what about this one? Y'all probably ain't experienced this yet. Certain club light, man. Oh, man. She man, that, them club lights, demons. The next day you go over her crib, you be like, what the? Man, this her? Yeah. You be like, hey, bro, come back to swing the block and come back and get me. Yeah, the emergency <laughs> happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What What yeah. about this? She got the dress on. You see that stain. Then y'all go to another club next weekend. You're like, yeah, that's old girl. Oh, these still got the dress. Whoa, that stain's still on there. Yeah. What about that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God damn. It's in the field. Yeah, see, now look, this 30, 40 years ago. Man, we talking. Now? Right. Oh, yeah, them all was coming outside we talking naked the 90s. Now. We talking the 90s. Yeah. But I started to notice, <laughs> so when you a young man, you got this high testosterone rev, you overlook a lot of shit That's what I, they that you really not supposed to. Look. That type of shit supposed to be like, okay, something wrong here. Hey, uh, guess what? Ish and Kyle missed it. Mm. So I'm going to bring it back. Y'all heard what he said. He said, tonight she got the stain in the dress. The following week at a different club. You know, that's old girl. Stain in the dress, right? Same one, same thing. What we saying to y'all, <laughs> not only uh, it's even worse though. <laughs> your antennas, your antennas to say, guess what, dude? <laughs> These females are not only good for me, but they nasty as fuck. We study going closer like dogs. Yeah, man. Y'all supposed really to tripping. Y'all no. supposed to see that and be like, oh, you know what? This ain't this ain't where you gonna find a quality woman no, that, that lines is. up that lines up with this. But and now with sexy red out here. Oh, uh, didn't she the one said she had Dookie stains in yeah, her face? Yeah. Uh her and Gorilla. They had cheese stains and dookie stains. She yeah. said she can't get Who rid said of that they put that sperm thing. on the fries? That's what Gorilla said. She said she let her nigga, her boy her, her, her man skeet on the French fries and then she ate them. Huh? And Angela Yeemim had her going on that show. Now she could, I hate her ass. Dude. And Leah, she yeah, she instigated. Well, yeah, and she is a heathen. Yeah, yeah, dog, yeah. she yeah she. Uh, her daddy is a heathen. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, he is, dog. So it's like you have to understand that you have younger women at home who don't have no guidance. And they looking at these girls with all the stuff they want. They want that G wagon. They want that big fancy necklace. They want those designer shopping trips. And then this woman on there telling you, yeah, you know what I'm saying? He's a munch. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? You know, you can go to the deli. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna work your ass out, and then you finna pay for everything. Facts. Facts. So these young girls hear that, and they follow that. The, that one teacher, that she was a Puerto Rican chick, and she was crying, not all the way crying, but real upset. Her video went viral about them little girls in the class want to hear Pound Town. Oh, yeah. She was like, yeah. she like, they five years old and they come in the class want to hear Pound Town. We done as a people. So what the elder is saying to y'all, for those that's tuning in, we are in a time where, dude, not only are we on borrowed time, but we looking at all the atrocities that's happening out here. Like when, when, when this church ends, right? 
and we proceed to go out there, right? Remember I told y'all it's 79 oh. outside. So I mean the monkeys hanging from the trees. Right. So with bananas. <laughs> it's what, banana peels everywhere. What's that saying? I if um if you don't know your history is bound to repeat bound itself, to repeat right? Itself, right. Dude, we was in captivity in Deuteronomy back in the day. And it has not, it's been 400 plus years. And ain't nothing changed. We worse. Ain't nothing changed. Because women used to respect men. Now it's like, well, don't respect y'all. No. Right. Like, it's universal. It's like, this is the honest truth, bro. I, 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 I respect, I respect women. We we don't we love women all day. We got daughters all day. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but if you want me to be honest with you, and don't get it twisted, every once in a while, there's there's women out there that that buck the stereotype. But for the most part, when I'm going in the store, if I see black women in that store, I I I, I stay away from them. Like, say she in that aisle, and I can see she got all them demons on her. I'll be like, I'm going to go get something else. And then when I come back, hopefully she ain't in this aisle. Because I don't be wanting to share aisle with them because I've fallen victim to their shenanigans so many times. that Shenanigans that you really in your mind think is you. You think mm -hmm. you tripping. You be like, Joy, you, you be over-exaggerating. Right, right. Mm -hmm. You, 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 you paranoid. You, ain't nobody thinking about you. You need to get over yourself, and you'll take your ass in that aisle if you want to. You gonna get hit by a damn basket. Mm -hmm. You gonna be like, damn, how the fuck? <laughs> what about this one? Uh, what about this one? Yeah, take your ass in there. You ain't paranoid, nigga. Take your ass in that aisle. What about this one? Is your dad ain't tell y'all this one? He, he in the, he in the um. Let's say he in aisle 16, right? He avoid going to aisle 17 because he just, look, he avoiding aisle 16. He in 15. He proceeds to go to aisle 16, see the nigga woman be like, nah, I'm going to just go to 17. Who in 17 waiting on you, aisle? Nigga woman. The same one he just tried yeah. to avoid in 16, it's almost like it's a vibration like, oh, this motherfucker tried to avoid What me. about when they run in that cart behind your ankles? You cannot tell me that ain't blatant now. Oh, you be, man, is she finna hit my shit? Yo, that yeah. shit hurt. Yeah. You hear it, you like, man, that motherfucker close. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then when you turn around and look, you, you make sure that you don't do this. You, know, oh, that's, that's you do just, like you do more like this. You kind of step to the side and fake like you looking up, and they had that look on their face like, yeah, yeah, nigga. You like, damn. Yeah. So I wasn't tripping. No. Nope. But if you'd have turned around with that, it would have been. It probably would have been one. Yeah. They be dude. Yeah. If you, I, 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 wish, treat you, bro. I could use my wife as a testimonial. We not making this up. Yeah, no, we ain't. Me and my wife. We in we in Woods. I wish I could bring her down, but y'all is gonna have to take my word. We in Woodlands. You know how them hood rats that have on them body suits, them cheap body suits that be real bright colors? It'd be a whole body suit. Be like a be neon orange. Yeah, that was she had a neon orange one. <laughs> no, no. So we we in line. It's a, it's a it's a, it's a, it's a younger black girl. She look like she might be in her early thirties. She got on a, a one of them them crazy looking ass crow's nest wigs. God. You know what I'm saying? Don't even look like human hair. It looked like some shit she bought for some dirt cheap numbers. We, we, me and my wife talking amongst each other very, very quietly and very, very, very tastefully. Okay. She's in line at the self checkout. So when we come, we always give people their space. So we stand back at the aisle. So we're not even across the aisle. You know, you know them pushy motherfuckers who come right and start stacking this shit. Mm -hmm. You be like, that that's crazy when they do that too, by the way. That's they trying to fuck with you. But that's usually Edomites and shit do that. They pull up and start stacking on you. You be like, come on, man. That come on, man. You, like, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? That right. So she 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 on the phone with her homegirl. She on the phone. And me and my wife standing back across the aisle, we not even paying attention to her. We just noticed her no further than knowing that we have to wait in line. 
you know, like talking, and we decided we look in that direction. She turned around and look us up and down, and I promise you, this is what she started doing. She ain't looking at us. We looking at her. My wife like, what the fuck? I'm like, she trying to get some shit going. Already. This is what I say to my wife. My wife like, what? Because my wife, she talk too loud. Well, she nah, do. I'm she, a... she do, man. I be looking at her That's like, I... Nah, I'm a... can I correct you, man? Yes. His wife don't talk too loud. She want to be heard. Right. So I'm like, <laughs> so I'm looking at her. My wife like, what the fuck? What's wrong with her? She trying, she fucking with us. I said, she trying to get some shit going. So, bro, this shit was so pathetic, dog. If you would have saw her behavior, it was like, whoa. We need to take you right out here to Watertown, Plank Road, and then you can go off. in there. Yeah. You go in there. You always fucked up. What the fuck? I'm talking about Ishmael. Oh, we looking at her like you do realize it's me. You gonna be in here longer. What's on? She had plenty of shit, bro. I'm talking about she was. So this is what me and my wife do. I said, uh, oh, don't even look back up there. We start back talking about something else. Real into it. I'm not looking at her. But I can see her through the car. She's still going slow. This one opened up. We go over there. We gone. Now she going real fast. <laughs> we was like, because she, it didn't work. It didn't work. So we get outside. My wife was like, what the fuck was that? Yeah. I said, see, I said, I told you. I said, they be in this motherfucker trying to get that shit going. Dog, my wife was outdone. She was, because she, she know shit like that happened. But when she saw yeah. that, she yeah. was like, oh, wow. She was throw all. I said, oh, that type of shit happened. Oh, it's, dude, listen. We was at the Kenosha Outlets. When y'all was coming back from the spot last last time y'all was No, here. it was me, my wife, and my daughter. It was summertime. We was, you wasn't with us, I don't think. We at the Kenosha Outlets. It's summertime. It's hot in the month of it. We going to Levi's store. We separate. My wife and my daughter go. You remember this shit? I remember y'all talking to me about that, y'all. Dog, this shit was crazy, dog. Because I was going to have to do some real fucked up shit. But I knew that they wasn't from Milwaukee. They was straight up, man, listen. We separating the Levi's store. I go to the men's. My wife go over there. So don't nobody come in the store after that. No, we together. Dog, a group of the ratchetest Chicago hood rats. They might not have been from Chicago, but they definitely wasn't from Milwaukee. Come in the store. As soon as they come in the store, I'm over here. I see them come in. They look right at my wife and daughter, and then one of them was like, I said, what the fuck was that? I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm standing in the cup watching. One, go behind your mama. Start faking like she looking at some shit. The other, it's like five of them. One go over here by your sister faking like they looking at some shit. They looking right at your mama and your sister. I'm standing over there like, no, I'm tripping. And they, they like, the one other one, I'm like, they ain't on no robbery shit. They won. Next thing you know, they start to close in. Oh, here I come. Hey, babe. Chill, what's up? They saw me and was abort mission. And your mama them seen it too. They was like, what was that? But see, see, that's that bullshit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I stopped some boo. They was going to do some super boo. Mm -hmm. Dog, they was mm -hmm. like, they came in and said, like, my wife didn't want to even pay no attention to them. But I saw it. I'm standing over there watching. I'm like, the fuck they from? I'd have beat the hell out of them girls. Now they was all grown. <laughs> I'd have beat the hell out of them girls. Yeah. I'm telling you, like grown men. What the fuck is wrong with you? And jumped in the car like, let's go, y'all. Back to the <laughs> Now look, what the elder just explained again is what we're talking about. And I don't even beat up girls, but if you saw how these girls was honing in, I wouldn't have had no choice. But my girl, my wife and daughter couldn't have whooped on them. These were some motherfuckers. Think about it. Huh? Old block bitches. <laughs> <laughs> go, Shit. Go back to what I was telling you before. When 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 men of the Lord that have that glow on them out in public, demons yeah. can smell it. Yeah, they coming. Yeah, they so they came right in there, and the demon was like, right over there, go get them. But guess what my wife told me. She said that her and my daughter avoid that kind of trouble all the time, even here in the stores. 
She said, me and Squeeze be in the store and them hood rats come in there and here they come straight trying to fight. Again, like I said before, whether it's you, me, Ish, Kyle, your family, dog, demons can sniff godly and they don't yeah, want that's their only, it's and their it's only like, purpose. They, it's they, attack yeah, they, they coming, bro. So your your thing, and then ish. When you look at like model, when you look at a model like model citizens, right? Let's just say a, a worldly from a carnal eye. If your mom's and daughter is in public, the most non-confrontational. I'm talking about harm. I'm talking about dude. You you see them and be like, oh, you know what? You worry about them. Shit. Them good people right there. You you just you you just automatically. See, like they way off your radar as far as people to start some shit with. Yeah. They they not even on your radar. Shit. Shit. They going right there. Right there. No right sense. there. I'm talking about they I'm talking about bro, your wife and daughter will never ever seen them out. I'm talking about bro, mind their own business. They ain't looking to engage. They in their own world, like it's just them in the mall, or it's just them in the store. Them hood rats don't like that shit. Them man. motherfuckers will come in from the food court and look from downstairs, like there they go. Remember yeah. them hood rats went down there and beat them Muslims up. <laughs> Remember the Muslim girls yep. were sitting in the, yeah, 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 the car yeah, yeah. And beat yeah. the hell out they ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They were down there with their kids, mind their business. Them hood rats ran up on their ass and yeah. crushed skull, yeah. <laughs> yeah. skull drug they motherfucking ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they just got sentenced not they, too they, long yeah, ago, too. Yeah, I yeah, seen them up in yeah. the courtroom. I'm like, woo, we all oh, rough. God, so, again, as we get ready to close mm -hmm. out, it goes back to when you're in the spirit, we are prone to all these monkeys and demons once we hit. When we disperse from this city, and if anybody like myself has to go out into the jungle, even though you mind your own business, it's a demon will pick you out. This man, the way he dressed in public, nothing about him says pay attention. Uh, pay, pay, oh, pay, I'm pay doing, attention. I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm doing good lately. I ain't had no demons on me lately. It's been that's, I've been doing good. That's good, bro, because it ain't always been that way. No, no, but you know that's temporary. Oh yeah, of course it is. They like, oh, we out here. We just oh, it's temporary. It's temporary. It's up. At some point, they gonna. I'm gonna well, get you it. kind of did. It was just over the phone. When your boy not that long ago. Oh, just call me. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we ain't we ain't got no time to talk about him. But guess that's what, what you call a um a, 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 a come in underwears to spy out our liberty, a monitoring spirit. Right now, look, yeah, she said he ain't really had no. Demons come his way, right? Let his ass go to Woodman's and get some gas. Oh, it's somebody's gas station. It's, is it's, a oh, it's somebody in there. It's somebody behind the counter waiting on his ass and one of them customers. Like, it'll be a nigga that'll leave Woodman's or see him leave Woodman's and go, over, like, leave the Woodman's store and go to the gas and get right next to his ass and be right behind his ass in the line. You know the black women is always working at the women's self-checkout cash register? Oh, They're yeah. real judgmental on men who don't dress nice. I okay, hey, $25,000 a year ass niggas. Yeah. They can spot so them out. So I would say I'm always really friendly and it's, it'd be fake because I'd be trying to feel people out too. Yeah. I say, hey, how you doing? Good morning. So if it's the morning time, I got that from Jew Greg. Kind. You know, up there. Yeah. He put me up on some game. He said, look, Joy, when you, and when you engage anybody over the phone or in person, if it's morning, always say, good morning. How was your morning this morning? <laughs> I used to be like that bullshit, but my fool ass fucked around and started trying. <laughs> Do you know how far that shit get you with white people? Oh, dog, that's just like you wanted them. Dog, that shit kicked through that the shit. door so motherfucking it's hard, it's but it's don't fun. nobody want to go do that. Wanna talk but to man, <laughs> when they when you do that shit, they open the door for too much shit. Them dude. motherfuckers come alive. Hey, how you doing this morning? They look up like I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> how you doing this morning? I'm doing great. Man, it's on after that. Try that with the nigga one. <laughs> Fool ass nigga. Bro, I do. Some of them, I'm going to give you an honest, uh, honest. Like 50-50. Probably, uh, 
Now, I'm going to say 70-30, 70, 30, 30, Right, right. I'm going to say 70-30. <laughs> Them motherfuckers, uh, Them motherfuckers will ignore your ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about the when you... You'll be like, did she hear me? What about this one, Ock? The common courtesy. You leaving out the door. You see her coming. You keep the door open. Bro, that motherfucker oh, no, walk right bro, through the what, door. What about, what about this? What about if they sigh? Bro, you can hold the door for them and they will sigh. Like, yeah. Did you just go? <laughs> yeah, they'll hit you with the. T yeah, I guess you expected somebody to say thank you type yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, they'll yeah. hit you with the. T I could have got it myself. They need niggas holding the door, or they want you to say thank you. Like it'd be bad, dog. So I hold the door anyway. Yeah. But for the most part, they ain't fucking with you. They ain't fucking. They, with they gonna walk straight through that motherfucker. Yeah. I ain't saying shit. Right. But I notice, do that to the black woman. You'll be like, damn, I don't think she heard me. Hey, how you doing? Good morning. The motherfucker look like she ain't see you ain't said You'll be like, damn. Her. Okay. Yeah. I think she heard she walking off. So you should get away from me before you say it again. Yep. Just to remind you, like, nigga, fuck you. Yep. Yep. That's women. Is that that the black women that yep. they hire to stand at that? Yeah. At that um self-checkout. You know, the ones that stand right yeah. there. Man, I'm like, okay. Y'all, whoever hiring them for this job, you know damn well they personality don't match this job. They lynch dogs. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want them here shitting on niggas. Because, dude, they, yeah. so, they so disrespectful and rude. It's like, damn, and age do not matter. They yeah. can be 50 years old at that thing, or they can be 21. They're they going to have the gonna same treat attitude. Mm. They're going to treat you. They're going to treat you, bro. Mm. You know how the machine break down? I'd be scared to say something to them. Oh, especially when that red light comes Man, I'd be like, oh, shit. That's my worst thing. I'd be like, because I know she's going to have an attitude. Or oh, yeah, yeah, I was on the phone with your dad, right? He was in the self. He always been in self checkout, right? And everything going good. You could tell. You could hear him scanning all his, his videos. Everything going good. And then I was like, damn, dog, this motherfucking self checkout is fucking up, man. I don't, I don't want to call nobody. So he spent like seven minutes to figure out what the fuck, whatever it was. He figured it out. Right. He was not but, trying to call it. But you know what I usually do? Once it do that, I, if it's another one open, I just take all my stuff, leave that shit, take it and go to the other one. I do not call them nigga woman's over there. <laughs> Cause oh, they already got an attitude. Man, that, that, they go, man, they come to that motherfucker to treat your ass. I'm like, uh, uh no. I'll take all my stuff back off the thing and then go to the other one and start on that one. Like, hey. fuck that. Because I ain't pay anyway. That's so I'm like, shit, fuck it. I'll just leave all that shit. I'm going to go over this one and rescan all this shit. Hey, uh, before we close out, bro, give us your experience in the self-checkout again. <laughs> bro, I'm standing in Woodlands behind this. Real, I'm talking about this couple look like Pamela and Daryl. I mean, they look like, they look like, yo, they, they look like the, I was thinking, I was like, man, I bet they got a real nice bathroom at their house with a hot tub. Like, bro, these were some super good looking older black people that looked like they had they shit together. I'm talking about when the hood drop of blood in these motherfuckers. Wherever they came from, I'm telling you, dog, they grass was beautiful as a motherfucker and they house was sprawling. Like, D was Pamela and Daryl dinner buddies in this book. Right, right. Not because of the way they was dressed. It's right. just they had this really well-to-do everything about them. Aura. Yeah, so I'm looking. I'm like, wow, who these people are? They pay for their stuff. They walk off. I don't think nothing else of them. A minute go by. And all I feel. Yes, look at this shit. Yes. It's like jump. <laughs> and it's this nigga. What did he want? Right. Now look, his receipt right here. You know the receipt right, the receipt right here. You can see that. I'm right here. You can pull your receipt out of there. I know it ain't mine. I'm still checking out. I ain't stupid. You ain't taking my receipt. The receipt right here. I'm like this. You could literally have walked up and said, oh, excuse me, bro. Forgot my receipt. Or you could have just reached up there and took your receipt. Everybody in their right fucking mind know that if I ain't paid for my shit yet, my receipt ain't came out. Facts. Nope. This motherfucker walked up behind me and 
put his shit on my shoulder. Like we know each other. I'm talking about slapped it up there. <laughs> Excuse me, brother. Need to get my receipt. And made me step out the way. Yeah. And got the receipt. And I almost started crying, nigga. I was, cause I almost went nigga. Cause you know what he did to you? He did fool ass. Like what Ish did to you with the donut. <laughs> That's what dog did to me in the checkout. That's fool the ass. same shit that happened at your football game. When I was standing there and that old dude slapped me on my ass. Nah. Ooh, Remember man. that? Nah. He could have got his ass. And right. I turned around and I said, did you hit me on my ass? And I ain't hit you on your ass. I said, yes, you did. He said, see, here we go with this. Black folks can't go nowhere. And he keeps... I remember that. I right. Remember that. He flipped it. Yeah. So I'm sitting that. there like... <laughs> and now that. all these older black people was looking at me like I was causing a problem. Yeah, Dog, this that. man hit me on my ass with his hand. Like, move out the way. Yes, guess what that nigga told your dad in so many words? Get your hand out of my pockets. So just because they older and look well to do... They probably look down on me and figure shit. Fuck, dude. You know, right. black people real quirky and weird. You never right. know what angle they gonna come from. Right. I could have been completely wrong about that couple. Yeah, they could have been scammers and pieces of shit who just look like they got their shit together. You know, like right. Daryl and Pamela. Right. They scammers. Thanks. But when you look at them in public, they the I model idea. Yeah, they some scammers. Yeah, yeah. You close out, bro. You got anything ish, Kyle? You got anything? All praises to Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Shalom to all the Aqua Tanaki out there. Keep pushing. We in a fight between the soul and the flesh. God. Which one going to be left at the end? Which one will stand victorious? We're praying as the hopeful elect or part of the mass multitude to be able to sneak in the back door. Fact. You know how that dude on the Titanic, he got on that... He got in the back corner of that motherfucking boat. Remember that on the Titanic? <laughs> he was tripping if they didn't say nothing. He was right. like, I'm home. That boy, he, man, you saw him he in back in the back corner, boy. He got on that. He was like, shit. That's bro. how we want to get in. <laughs> I don't even got to get in. Just let me hold on. Right. I'll figure the rest out. Yeah. Shalom. 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 Shalom.